Seneca Evans here again. And after we've already set up our business in Wave, now we need to go through and customize it and set up our account settings. So when you first log on to Wave, you're going to be greeted by the dashboard. And this is what it looks like when you haven't got any information in it yet. Okay, so we're going to go to our account, which is in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Then we're going to go to your profile. Okay, so when you come to uh, your profile, you're going to come to the user profile first. You have a mini menu inside. If you go down to businesses, and then you have your businesses under your businesses section. Then you go to edit with the little pencil. Right, so this is where you can input the address information, the other contact information for the business. You can go save. Right, so we've updated our business there. Now we need to go to the settings to enter in the financial data. So we can go on the left hand menu, go to dashboard. We're back at our dashboard. Right at the top of the dashboard, we have a little gear with the settings. So we click that. It's going to bring up another menu, and we're going to start at the financial settings option. At the financial settings, we're going to set how we like our date set, when is the last day of our fiscal year, and we have already selected our main currency. So the fiscal year for most small businesses is a regular calendar year. But if you are operating on a different year, put the last day of the last month of your fiscal year. Okay, so I'm going to change the date because I don't like the year listed first. So I'm going to change and select this format. Then I'm going to go save. Okay, so I'm done with the basic setup. So now we see on the side, I can go to sales tax. I can go through payments, integrating my payment processor. I can customize my invoice, set up my products, customers, vendors. I can invite people, which are called guest collaborators. I can also export data out and set up my email preferences. So we're going to go through invoice customization. Okay, and once we're at the invoice customization screen, we can select what type of template that we want to use for our invoice. Okay, then we can upload our logo. So we can click here, choose our logo file, and upload that there. Okay, and then when you have our logo updated, we can click this box and it will display our logo for us on the website and across other forms, sorry, on the invoice and across other forms on the site. We can change our accent color. Okay, and I like this blue. Okay, and then at invoice settings, we want to put what do we want to be the default selection for every invoice created. When we create our invoices, do we want them to be due immediately within 15 days, 30, 45, 60, or 90 days? So I do due upon receipt. Do we want to change the title of the invoice or are we comfortable with invoice? We change, make that adjustment here. Do we want to have a subheading of the invoice? So do we have like a routing number we want to put there for everybody to see or some other additional information that's related to the invoice? We want to have a default footer. Thank you. And we have a standard memo. Payment is appreciated. Okay, then we come down to invoice column settings. What do we want to call the columns on our invoice? Do we want them to be listed as items, products, or services? So Tony Stark and Stark Enterprises is a primarily service-based company, so we're going to change it to services. If we don't want to use any of those three, we can click other and type in the name we want to use. Do we bill by quantity or by hours? So we bill by hours. Again, if we have another name that we use, we can record it there in other. Okay, the price, so we charge as a flat price, or do we have a rate or an, another amount? So we're going to put rate, and do we call it an amount, or do we call it something else? Okay, and we can also hide columns. Do we want to hide the item name? Do we want to hide the item description, units, price, amount, any of those columns that we just went through? So we like the way that's set up. We're going to leave it at that and save it. Okay, so we have our invoice customization settings set. 
Now we wanna to go to products. This is where we're gonna be able to set up our line items for each invoice. Okay, so we can go to add a product. This is where we name our product. So we're gonna start off with items that we sell. So let's say consultation with Tony Stark consults on projects. And that is gonna be $1,000. We sell this. So we wanna attach it to an account. But so far we just have a sales account. So let's go ahead and hit this plus button. And we're gonna add a consultation account. All right, so again, we can go through uh, what other, have other income. We can see other income there. Go through sales, products, and services for specific services. And here's consulting income there. Okay, and then we save. Okay, there's our consulting income, and then we go save. So now every time we create an invoice for consultation, we can type consultation in the line item, and it will pull up automatically that this the description is Tony Stark's consults on a project, and it's $1,000 per hour. Okay, so next we want to do is we want to set up our payment. So of course, this is super important, right? We want to be able to receive income. But with WAVE, similar to QuickBooks, you have to use their payment processing, WAVE payments. Okay, so you see the pricing is just the same as, as on par with the, the industry standard at 2.9% plus 30 cents for every transaction. You have to turn it on and go through a short application process. You cannot sync uh, Square, Stripe, or any other payment processor. You do have to use WAVE payments. If you do not want to use WAVE payments, WAVE may not be a good system for you um, unless you want to do double entry, which of course no one wants to do. WAVE will integrate with PayPal, but you cannot accept payments via an invoice with the PayPal link, but you can integrate PayPal as a bank account and reconcile um, your account as you would any other bank account. Wait, so that is the setup for Wave.